Welcome to the Lancaster leak, a game which surprisingly is the best stress test for my computer that I have encountered so far. The following tape and many others were recovered by FBI intern Valerie Bardot and given to us. Leaving without a trace, she went suddenly missing at the end of her internship in Lancaster. CA, I don't know, oh my god, okay. Foul play is suspected. So long as Valerie is missing, these tapes will continue to be leaked. We gave you a chance, this will be your last. Oh, we got the government warning. Alright, this is basically saying you're not allowed to watch this. So we're gonna watch this. You have been warned. Type is missing persons. Entity is present, but the status is resolved. This happened in 1988, which tells you all that you need to know. O'Brien State Park. Previously inhabited by both Dakota and... I'm not going to try to pronounce that one. It is now home to year-round camper and hikers. The park, along with other state parks up north, has experienced an increase in animal-like attacks. The cause un... Oh, there goes that. I'll pause it for you. Bradley Kaufman. On August 25th, 1988, Bradley Kaufman, a 59-year-old male, visited O'Brien State Park unaccompanied. The subject's behaviour during his visit was unusual, as he intermittently started recording at various times. The text is going too fast, I'm just going to pause them for you and you can read through. Not sure what was up with the photo of him staring into my soul. The subject initiated recording, the reason for their sudden recording activity remains unknown. So it sounds like a uh, Valerie got governmented is probably the best word that I could use there. The subject would occasionally zoom in on certain events. Uh, objects, that says. Oh, that's freaky. Also, the torch doesn't immediately follow the camera. Alright, what do we actually have around here? Well, we got our tent. So there's one person here, is what I'd assume, because there's only one sleeping bag. Oh, I don't like the way that everything around us moves. Yeah, we just got one camping chair. Alright, so... I assume we're heading this way. The subject turned right and went to the bathroom to shower. Alright. I don't know what that is down there. That's just road. Okay. The real horror was infrastructure. Uh, I'd like to just make it known real quick. If... Oh, the grass. Okay. If you are going at like... I don't know. It's like midnight right now. Uh, if you're going to go shower at this kind of time, like on a camping trip, uh, you're the scariest thing in these woods. Like, if you are just wandering, I don't know how many. Is that our campsite? Yeah, that's ours. If you are wandering however far, there's more campsites here. Just to go take a shower, like two in the morning. Um, any entity in these woods should be terrified of you. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright. Um. Hello? Well, there's an invisible wall here. Uh, well, those people are dead. Just what I'm going to take that as. How did you get your car over this? Like, that's a minivan. And this is a mound of dirt. Oh my Jesus. Okay. You know, this game, we are like three minutes in, is already getting me worse than some of the other horror games that we've played on this channel. Yeah, kudos to you. Uh, we're heading this... Oh my... Okay, so we're going in here. Uh, this is either the bathrooms or some guy's house. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like this. Okay. So... Oh, this is weird. Is this one locked? Someone in here? Alrighty. Oh. Someone else showering? Okay, what is it with this campsite? We're doing like co-op showering. There's one in use there. One in use there. One in use there. There is three other people, at least, in this bathroom. If we, like four, if we want to include that toilet. <sighs> Weird part of the country. Oh, pause one. The subject stops filming, then takes a shower. It is estimated 10 minutes elapse before the subject films again. Uh, there was something else there. The text moves very quickly. Everyone else done showering? Um, 
out, hey? There's noises happening here. Can we like, no. Can we like, I don't know, cause this is kind of, yeah, there's someone else in here. This is kind of like eerie. Can we like start pounding on the door and like ask whoever this is if they want to like take a leisurely stroll back with us? Uh, it ain't a public bathroom without just smashed mirrors, is it? Yeah, I'm leaving without you. God help you. Oh, got the torch back on. Oh. Does this say anything? But yeah, the start of this game really indicates that they plan to make more stuff like this. Which, I don't know, I'm having fun so far. I might feel scared out of my skin. But, um... Hey, it's uh, it's what this entails, isn't it? So uh, yeah, this is the campsite where this one right here is the one where the car started going off, which I can only assume in this kind of game, like we got the VHS uh, filter going. Anything like that means that someone has died, someone has passed away. Okay, where actually is... That's our campsite, yes? Oh my, we're taking a long time to walk around here. Oh, I hate how you can't quite make a detail of stuff a little further away. Um... You're not me, and there's only one seat here. Who is this? Oh. I think that this is... Yeah, camera pausing. Upon return to the campsite, an unknown figure stands near the subject's tent. Near the campground, records no witnesses recall seeing a white male of this profile. Why the person was here or who they are remains unknown, but is still not being actively pursued. So, unknown suspect. The largest jump of times happens at this point with an estimated one to two hours of time elapsed. The recording resumes with the subject two miles in the Hardwood Hills loop. Why the subject started the hike is not relevant to the Bureau's involvement. Okay, so there's some random man at the campsite. Like, I don't know if he was a guest or... What I do know is that the confidence to go for a hike at like, I don't know, 3am uh, through the woods, two miles away from what I just assume is civilization in general, or any form of help, um, you better be walking out like around here absolutely strapped. I'm talking, you better have a machete, like at least a gun. Maybe I'm just paranoid, but like, you know? Oh yeah, also a quick Google search that I did before starting this recording taught me that there is a place called William O'Brien State Park and that that place is in Minnesota, which, you know, we can call this game Minnesota Simulator now and it's actually legitimately accurate. I can't see like more than six feet in front of me. And we're just in an area where there is no help. Oh, we're going back up an incline. Wh what is our actual goal? What are we trying to reach here? Because this is one hell of a weird forest vlog. This is like those videos that you can find online where it's just people walking through like the most horrific uh, places ever and it's like six hours. Whole video goes for like six hours. They don't say a word the whole time. That looked like eyes. I hate that. Oh my god. We're doing well. We're doing well. It's a, um, the local flora and fauna are the actual horror of this game. How is everyone else's day going? Why do I do this to myself? What is this? Is the road flooded? What am I looking at? I'm looking at something. Oh, it's, it's a river. I can't wait for this to, uh, tie in somehow about crossing over into the uh, realm of spirits. This bridge is a health code violation wrapped in a... Oh, that was an animal noise. As I was saying, this is a health code violation wrapped in a uh, missing persons case, which if you listen to the start of the game, it's exactly what it is. In all honesty, if, I don't know. You get the deer jump scare. It's three in the morning. You, you're you just walking around here like unarmed. 
that's a sign to head back. Because there is no way that this is ending well. Like, at all. No one's following me across the bridge that looks like it's about to give out. Like, seriously, nothing good uh, comes from doing this kind of thing. Like, if anything, it's... Like, how poor of a choice can you possibly make? The deceased deer was killed by an entity. Oh. Subject encountered diseased, diseased deer attacked by entity. The film abruptly ends after subject attacks entity in vicinity. Subject exhibits distress and flees off trail. Entity pursues subject and can be heard in proximity. Subject resumes filming approximately four minutes after pause. This marks the final pause. This is the part of the video where we die. Calling it. Like, there is no... The subject is audible for the first time displaying emotions of fear. Yeah, I can understand that. Is there any given direction to be going? Well, that's an invisible wall. The subject begins running shift as multiple sounds of entities surround him. So there's multiple of these things. Oh, that's... That's something pretending to be a deer. Uh, this is wonderful. Is there something that I'm meant to be running to? Like, I'm just running. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm gonna let the, uh... Uh, let the... I don't know what I'm letting guide me, alright? I don't know where this is going. There is something getting closer to me. I do not like the fact that this game is using the proximity of the headphones. Uh, in fact, I... it's making me uncomfortable. Uh, can we... Oh, there's something getting closer. There is something behind me, I think. Oh my... Oh! oh! I don't know what that was. The subject struggles against Entity, but gets away. The camera is severely damaged. I was about to say, I think my computer is damaged. Subject drops flashlight, and then camera. So, we're looking at the sh... Oh, he just got murked. So, subject blood creeps into frame. So this is all what's happening behind us. Okay. Uh, distant entities can be heard. So there's multiple of these things just in this forest. And the government doesn't care. End of tape. Bradley Kaufman's death would occur over the next five minutes. The remaining footage has been cut down for viewer discretion. How kind. Additional entities can be heard and would later fight over the remains. The footage ends when the camera battery runs out. Subjects' remains were found scattered, most flesh was consumed, little personal items remained intact. The public was told it was an abnormal bear attack. Picture 5 is just random bones. The subject's film was the first captured footage of S0012. Ultimately, the subject's footage provided the Bureau proof to extend funding in special operation to contain entities. So it's called the Wendigo, and it's S0012. Risk is severe, but containability is 3. And there's the critter that got us. Wendigos are creatures originated from Native American tribes of the Great Lakes region. The malevolent supernatural beings bring terror to forest dwellers and are linked to numerous missing persons cases. Tall and emaciated looking. Okay, I don't get to read the rest of that. According to recent intelligence, there has been a notable resurgence of the Wendigo and their geographical distribution has now expanded southward towards Minneapolis. In response to this emerging threat, the Bureau has established a joint task force in collaboration with the Canadian... CSIS to take immediate and decisive action to halt the expansion of the species and eventual eradication. It is imperative to maintain strict operational security and to keep the public generally uninformed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. And that's just where it ends, alright. So definitely, yeah, they're gonna have more of these. Yeah, there you go, the story doesn't end here. Crisis of Call Center is apparently gonna be the next one. Honestly, at that point, nuke the whole forest. Ecological implications be damned. That place has got to go. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed this forest vlog. Sincerely, thank you very much for watching. Uh, there's been a lot of support for these kind of videos of like the spooky horror genre. Uh, so there's going to be more of that coming out. Stay tuned for that and thank you very much.